Bank of America Stadium will be our location for this good one between Denver and Carolina. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? We couldn't have asked for a better day for football as we get ready for today's game. Welcome, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here with a call. We're underway. Chris, what are your thoughts on this one? We should see both of these teams trying to establish a good balance on offense in this one. Whoever can do that should be able to win this thing. You always want to have a successful first drive. It really sets the tone for the whole game offensively. Let's see how they do here. Williams gets the ball. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. So a gain of about one. That brings up second down. Carolina comes out with an I formation. Play fake. He threw off his back foot. And they get him at the 33. He was looking to the right the whole time. Finding his man for a pretty good game. So many times in offenses now, we see them reading only one half of the field. That time he stayed off to his right side, went through the progressions, and found the open guy. Delome set to go to the air. Passes right. Makes the grab. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to man cover. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because... When you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can first of all figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. He gets another carry. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. He got what he could and it wasn't much. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short gain. Feeds it to the back. He lost yardage on the play. Disappointing loss there for the offense. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. Looking to throw. Makes the short throw. He's dropped at the 48-yard line. Hackett gains four yards on that reception. It's fourth down. They'll line up to punt this one away. Royal is back deep to return. He punts it. They down it at the four-yard line. What a great punt to pin them deep. When you go for a punt to pin a team deep in their own territory, the last thing you want to have happen is to have it end up in the end zone for a touchback because it just is a letdown for the punt team. Now you've got them backed up inside the 10-yard line. Nice play. Here's the fullback. Tackled at the four. Less than a yard, and that will bring up second down. Offense sets up deep inside their own territory. Ball on the four. Here's the halfback. He got deep pleated. That run picked up a yard, maybe less, and that makes it third down. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. Another run. And he will lose yardage on the play. No chance there. That will be fourth down. The defense was just all over that. I have to think offensively they were concerned that maybe they were going to get blitzed in that situation, try and pop one in there. But when you call a run and it fails, it looks bad in that spot. Gets his leg into it, and he got a huge punt here. Robinson fields it at the 44. 
He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I, mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. Here's the give. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Williams gains about a yard on the play. DeLome lines up under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. Drops back to pass. Gets rid of the ball. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. Great time for that type of pass. It worked to perfection. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. And they'll run him again. He's hammered in the backfield. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. There's a play fake with the catch. And they get him around the 30-yard line. That reception is good for a gain of four. Only gained about four yards on that play, but sometimes as an offense, as long as it's not a negative play, it's a positive play. On play action. Incomplete pass. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it splits the uprights. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Decent kick. Hall takes it at the four. Dropped at the 28-yard line. They could do nothing against this defense on their previous drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. They'll come out in the dime. Gets it off. Completed. Tackled around the 40-yard line. He put something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. He's going to be tackled for a loss. The offense had a tough time picking up all their blocks on that play. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. He drops back. Passes to his left. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength, but did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. Again, he'll get the call. The defender gets him to the ground. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Cutler is under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. Young takes it up the middle. He's brought down at the 39 yard line. Four yards on that play. That'll bring up third down. Ace backfield this time. He drops back to pass. Throws it to the middle. And they get him at the 22-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback 
to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Hands it to the back. He's finally dragged down, and now it will be first and goal. First down, goal to go. Ball on the five. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And the ref blows this one dead. That's cool, baby. Full start offense. He needs to pay a little better attention to what he's doing out there. I think those are just embarrassing. I, you go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it. I'm um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. He's dropped around the six-yard line. A five-yard pickup for the halfback. Second down, goal to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. They tackle him for a loss. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Drops back. Short throw to the left. He's tackled around the three-yard line. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. Kick is up, and right down the middle. Pretty good kick that time, and he drives it home for three points. Nice job. Not a bad kick. Gathered at the six. Brought down at the 28-yard line. They had to settle for a field goal on their last drive. They take the field again, looking to put up another score. DeLome lines up under center. They'll line up in the I formation. Williams gets the ball. And he's hit hard at the 23. That defensive lineman just seems to have a knack for finding the ball carrier. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Looks to pass. Dumps it out right. Tackled around the 26-yard line. The defense was in great position to stop that play short, bringing up a third down situation. And when I saw the quarterback drop back that time, I really thought they had something going, but they closed quickly and made a nice play defensively to bring up this third down. DeLome set to go to the air. Short pass to his left. Defense pushes him out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. He gets it away, and they make the fair catch. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. Cutler will come to the line with a three-wide formation. Brought down around the 22-yard line. 
One yard gain on the play. That'll bring up second down. Cutler is in the shotgun. Three receivers split out. Back to pass. All kinds of pressure. Pass completed. Dropped behind the line. That'll go for a loss of a couple. He just couldn't make anything happen after he brought it in. Good job by the defense. The Broncos come out with the offset eye. And it looked like they jumped early. Full start offense. And we'll replay third down. And the quarterback's thinking, thanks a lot, guys. Now we have some heavy duty lifting to do. He drops back to pass, surveys the field, brings this one in. He's dropped at the 29-yard line. Good play that time, but not quite enough. He'll wind up just short of the first. Pretty good-looking play that time on third and long and almost picked up the first down. I like the decision. The quarterback got the ball out. His playmaker was able to make a play. Came up just a little short. He gets it away. Robinson takes it at the 32. He's brought down at the 48-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. DeLome will come to the line with a three-wide formation. Drops back on first down. Looks down the field. Makes the reception. Brought down around the 42-yard line. Another fine pass and catch on that play. I know we all talk about 40-yard dash times in the NFL, but as a receiver, if you are a great route runner and you understand what the defenses are trying to do to you, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3-40. If you can get in and out of your cuts like this guy, you will always be able to play. And they'll lose a yard there, and so it'll be third down. Offense comes out needing just a yard for the first. Carolina goes with the ace set here. And they'll try and get the first through the air. Goes through his read. There for the reception. And they get him at the 39-yard line. Nice job getting that pass out of there, and he picks up the first down. Yeah, smart play call that time by the offense. He could tell by the pre-snap read that short throw was going to be there, and he took advantage. He gets another carry. Hit and drop behind the line. That's what you call a great individual effort. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. He drops back to pass. Gets the ball away. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Carolina sets up in the eye. Play action. Brings it in. He's brought down of the 21-yard line. He was lucky to get that one off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. Scans the field. Is there for the catch. And he made a great open field tackle. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. Regular, 
On the run, he throws it. Throws into coverage, and it's intercepted. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. Great catch by the linebacker. Not a smart throw from the quarterback. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. He's dropped at the 15. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Second and nine. Ball on the 15. Two tight ends here. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Third down now, they'll need seven to convert. Ball on the 17-yard line. He drops back to pass. Short throw to the right. Excellent open field tackle. That completion won't amount to much, and they'll wind up short of the first on the play. Very disappointing for an offense to get a completion and not get the first down. The receiver's job there is to make somebody miss. Clearly have to give the defense credit there. They won. Gets the punt away. Robinson fields it at the 40. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. The quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. DeLome comes to the line under center. Eye formation behind him. Looks to pass. Throws left. He couldn't hang on to it. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. He drops back. Takes a shot deep to the right. Tips it away. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball, but if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. The loan drops back. Pass is complete. Jarrett gains a couple with a short completion. The Panthers are lining up to punt this one away. Royal is back deep to return the punt. Gets the punt away. It'll go out at the 30. Their last drive ended with a three and out. The offense will take over at the 30. It's first and 10. Young alone in the backfield. Denver sends a man in motion. Here's the halfback. Brought down at the 31. Young comes away with about two yards on the draw play. They line up at the 31. Denver goes with the ace set here. Play action. They get to the QB. And the blitz works to perfection on that one. It's so frustrating for an offense when they think they know what's going to happen with a specific blitz package. You work against it all week. You come out in a game and you fail to execute the protection and your quarterback pays the price. Looking for an open man. Huge hit. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. Fourth down. The Broncos ready to punt this one away. Robinson is the deep man awaiting the return. Punts it. 
makes the fair catch. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. Offset eye formation in the backfield. DeLome hands it off. No, play fake. Knocked down. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Play fake. Here's the throw. Oh, and he dropped it. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. DeLome lines up under center. Single back formation this time. Back to throw. Under heavy pressure. There for the catch. Not much chance of converting that pass into a first down. Nah, and that's really what the defense was hoping for there. They settle their defense behind the chains, allow you to catch the ball, come up and make the tackle. Perfectly executed that time by the defense. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. Royal fields it at the 31. Knocked out at the 47-yard line. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. Drops back on first down with the hard throw out to his left. Cuts back, and he's dropped. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. He throws it. And it's knocked loose. Jackson was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Cutler dropping back. He throws on the run. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Nothing wrong with that pass. That goes for a good game. You know, and when you talk to some of these receivers, they say the real strength of this quarterback is that he throws a very, very catchable ball. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down at the 19. And he put up a pretty nice run there. Yeah, that was a big time carry there. You can tell the coaches have a lot of faith in this ball carrier to allow him a chance to run the football in that situation. Cutler gives it up the middle. And they get him at the 15. Young gets about four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. Cutler lines up under center. Only one man back here. They'll go with the run once again. He's dropped around the 12-yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. Two tight end formation this time. Throws on the run. They bring him down, and it's first and goal. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Brought down behind the line. They lose a couple there. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. He needs to get the pass off. 
He's tackled around the one-yard line. Play fake is good for a couple. Third and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. The defense comes out in the dime package. Looking to throw. Passes to the end zone. They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay inbound. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one, just thrown a little bit too far outside. Advanced ticket sales and much more. Ask for more details today. The snap, set down, the kick is up. He put that one right through the upright. Here's the kick. He'll return it from the six. Dropped at the 32-yard line. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. They'll go to work at the 32-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Carolina lines up in a double tight set. DeLome hands it off. He lost yardage on the play. This defense is definitely not afraid to use their safeties in run support. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there, but you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play, and that's really what pro football is all about. And they'll try and get the first through the air. And he will lose yardage on the play. Looks as if they'll go three and out on this offensive series. And that's embarrassing for an offense to get pushed around, to get manhandled like the defense did that time. You hang your head a little bit going back to the bench. Gets the punt away. Royal takes it at the 25. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He looks to throw on first down. He throws short. And they get him around the 39-yard line. The defense didn't have a chance on that one. Great throw that time. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively, you think you're in the right spot, you're going to make a play, and a guy makes a throw like that, and you go, hey, that's a good throw. Tackled at about the 41. And with that run, the defense just gave up the first down. And for a defense in those short yardage situations, more often than not, you're going to give up the first down, but you certainly don't want to allow them to break out the big one. There's a play fake. Throws wild on the run. Jackson was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Denver lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back, throws to his right. He's tackled at about the 45-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Young off the left side. He makes a great open field tackle. Young picks up about four yards on the play. 
second and six coming up here. Ball on the 42. Denver lines up in a double tight set. He drops back to pass. On the run, he throws it. And they get him around the 22-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. Looks to pass. He throws it. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on. Stokely was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. From the 22-yard line, Denver sets up in the eye. He gets another carry. He's dropped at the 19. They get three yards on the play. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Play action. Deep throw, end zone, broken up. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Kick is up. Wide right. That's a tough miss. You rely on your kicker to come through for you when he's called upon. The guy starts missing a few. Not only does it hurt his confidence, but it also hurts the coaches. You got to wonder if they might just start going for it if this guy continues to miss like that. So the score is still the Broncos, six. The Panthers, three. DeLome takes it back. Rifles it out there. Interception. Brought down at the 30. Well, he looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. They line up at the 30. Cutler is under center. Single back backfield this time. The Broncos put a man in motion. They'll throw on first down. Dumps it out right. And he caught it. Not much of a gain at all on that completion. What happened on that one? Well, I think the offense really just trying to make a safe throw rather than taking a big chance and throwing it down the field. You get the ball in the hands of your receiver and let him try and make a play. That time, nothing there. Young on the handoff. He fights forward to about the 26. The back gets three on the carry. They line up at the 26. Offset I formation in the backfield. He's looking to throw. Screen pass. He gets in for six. What a play to slip out of the backfield for the huge score. Wow, halfbacks that can play like wide receivers. I don't know how you play defensive back in this league anymore. What a play. And the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Robinson fields it at the seven. Drill at the 29 yard line. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time and it led to an interception. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Here's a handoff left side. Right by the tackler. Tackle around the 39 yard line. They get about 10 yards there on that play. That brings up second down. One man in the backfield. Looks to pass. He throws right. 
can't connect on the pass. Oh my, the quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes and every once in a while, you're gonna get one pick, but that was a pretty good play by the defense. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. I'm not sure he would have had that if it wasn't for that extra effort. Yeah, a little guts, a little determination on that one. Those are the type of conversions you have to make if you're going to win football games. They give it to the tailback. He tries to spin, and he is dropped. That'll be a pickup of about a yard, and that will bring up second down. They line up at the 43. Two minutes to go in the half. The Panthers line up with an offset eye backfield. Looks to pass. He throws on the run. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. A nice looking play that time. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. Passes. Comes down with it. And they get him at the 36 yard line. And they'll try to speed things up a bit. Carolina lines up in the offset eye this time. Carolina using an audible. Back to throw. Surveys the field. And it's caught. Tackled right around the 18-yard line. Tom, I really don't think there's a better competitor in the NFL than Steve Smith. This guy has always played with a little chip on his shoulder. He seems to be angry at the world a lot of times. And he takes it out on the football field. He is so quick, he is so tough, and he is so fast. I love watching Steve Smith play. And they'll run him again. Brought down at the 14. Second down and five to go. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Play fake. They picked it off. And he scores, what a play! And just like that, they make it a two possession game. What a tremendous return that was, and even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. And here's the extra point. And the point after is good. The kick is away. Robinson takes it at the four. Brought down at the 35. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. Fakes to the back. Pass incomplete. The quarterback's just relieved that one wasn't picked off. You're right, Tom. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. He's looking to throw. He throws left. Makes the catch. And he dropped him in the open field. These days, you need a back who has good hands. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside, but blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. 
Drops back on first down. Throws on the run. Williams catches it. Interception. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. He threw that thing into heavy coverage. And sometimes when you have a quarterback that has a really strong arm, they think they can do things that they simply cannot. You cannot force that football into that kind of coverage in this league. He drops back. And they're coming after him. Short throw to the left. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. And that's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. Back to pass. Dumps it out right. He's dropped at the 28-yard line. And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. And as we head to halftime, score is 23-3. Kicks it off. Taken at the five. He's tackled at the 30. And they take the field again, looking to capitalize on their previous drive, which resulted in a field goal. Cutler is lined up under center. Only one in the backfield this time. Brought down at the 35. Four-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Cutler lines up under center. Single back backfield this time. New 45. New 45. Young gets another carry. What an open field tackle. Four yards on that play. And so it'll be third down. Third down now, they'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. The offense lines this one up in shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. There's a play fake. Gets the throw off. It's broken up. He tried to thread the needle on that last one and threw it right into coverage. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Kicks it away, and it's a huge punt. Fielded at the 19. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. They'll throw on first down. He needs to get rid of it. And it's completed. He's dropped for a loss. That play pushes them way back. Looks like they'll be sending that play right back to the drawing board. The Broncos bring in their quarter defensive package. Drops back. Dumps it out left. And he catches it. And he's knocked out around the five-yard line. They lose a yard there. I don't think they fooled anybody on the defense with that one. They were just sitting out there waiting for it, and that's a loss. Six DBs on the field for the defense. Stewart gets the call. And they get him at the eight. That play was stuffed from the get-go. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. Baker kicks it, and man, did he get a leg into this one. Royal takes it at the 49. 
Brought down at the 40. They gave up way too many yards on the return there, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, without a doubt. As part of the coverage team now, you've got to free yourself from that blocker as quickly as possible. And if you can't do that, you're going to give up some big returns. They'll throw on first down. Defender gets his hand on it. Scheffler was the intended receiver on the play, and it falls incomplete. From the 40-yard line, Carolina lines up with their dime defense. They'll give it off here. He's dropped at the 35. Young gains about four yards on the play. Third down, they need six for a first. Single back formation. He's looking to throw. Throws wild on the run. He is hit hard on the play. A nice completion to the tight end. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. Inside give. He took a shot at the 17. A two-yard run by the halfback. Ouch. You take too many shots like that as a running back, you start peeking around a little bit before you get that football. What a shot. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. Looks to pass. Passes to his left. And he's out at the 13. It's completed, but it'll wind up short. Well, it's not a horrible call in that situation because you put the ball in the hands of a playmaker. You try and allow him to create, but you're seeing now defensively when they close together like that, it's going to be awfully tough to pick up that first down. Here's the kick. It's wide right. That's a tough miss. He usually makes those kicks. So the score will remain the Broncos 23, the Panthers 3. I formation here. He looks to throw on first down. It's completed. He's tackled about the 25-yard line. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. They motion to the right. Drops back to pass. Looking for a receiver. Catch is made. Not too bad a pass there. Not too bad at all. And sometimes those little touch throws are actually more difficult than the bullet passes. Kind of hard to come up with the timing to hit the receiver right in stride. But that was well thrown. Gives to the back. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. He starts out the wrong way and winds up losing yardage. Well, that's no fun for the running back. It's one thing to get stuffed at the line of scrimmage, but when you start losing yards running the football, that's a disaster. He's looking to throw. Rockets it. He's there for the catch. Hit hard at the 46-yard line. Good job locating the gap in the coverage on that play. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. Nice play fake. King was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Fourth down. The Panthers are lining up to punt this one away. Uh -huh. 
He punts it. Royal takes it at the 16. And he's drilled at the 31. The kicker failed to get the ball through the uprights on their last drive. Young, the lone back. Sets up the play action. He scrambles around. It's picked. What a big time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. First and ten. Williams lines up as the deep back. I formation. Brought down at the 33. Just about three yards there. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really puts some pressure on this group up front. He drops back, throws it short, makes the grab. Tackled at the 31. And he just couldn't get it going after making the catch. Nope, and sometimes as a receiver, the quarterback will make the wrong read and throw it to you anyway, and you give him that look going back to the huddle. You know that look? 188! 188! Drops back. He throws right with the catch. And they get him right around the 20-yard line. A good amount of yards that time on the pass. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. And they'll run him again. Brought down at the 20. A couple of yards there. That brings up second down. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 20. Are these guys finally going to put an end to the red zone struggles? They hand it off. He's dropped around the 15-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Panthers come out in the single back formation, three receivers wide. He fakes it, dumps it out right. Goes out of bounds at the 18 yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Here's the kick, and right down the middle. Nice work putting that one right through the upright. He kicks it. Royal has it at the five. He's hammered at the 21. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one would be disastrous to this offense. Cutler lines up under center. Only one man back here. On the ground, up the middle. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Single set backfield. Give to the tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. Nothing doing. They stop him for a loss. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time, there was nowhere to go. Zebra, zebra! He's looking to throw. Goes through his read. Out of bounds, incomplete. 
The receiver was out of bounds when he made the catch. Not a perfectly timed throw that time. Held on to it just a little too long and led the receiver out of bounds. Gets it away cleanly. Robinson fields it at the 42. And he's hammered at midfield. The offense takes the field, hoping to come away with more than just a field goal on this drive. The defense sets up in the nickel. Little handoff. And they get him around the 46-yard line. Williams gets about four yards on the play. Denver comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Drops back. Throws it short. Completed. And he's decleated at the 43-yard line. Williams gets him about three yards on that completion. So that'll make it third down. Carolina is going with the offset eye backfield. Fakes the run. Pressure was coming, and he just got rid of it. And the protection just has to be better because right now this pressure is starting to get in the head of the quarterback. He's making some bad throws. Baker will punt it, and he absolutely boomed it. Down in the end zone for a touchback. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. They come out with three wide receivers. Give to the tailback. Tackled at the 22-yard line. They get two yards, and that will bring up second down. They line up at the 22. Cutler comes to the line with three wide. He's tackled at the 25. Just about three yards there. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Back to throw. He's dragged down on the play. I have to say they're going to have to protect the quarterback a little better than this, or it's going to be a long game for him. you got to be kidding me. You can't keep letting your big money quarterback get hit like that. He's going to be out of the game. That's one of those situations the quarterback gets back in the huddle and he starts looking around at the guys like, you want to earn your paycheck today? Kicks it away, and it's a huge punt. Robinson fields it at the 38. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. Williams has the deep back as they line up in the eye. The halfback with the carry. And they get him at the 44-yard line. And he picks up about four. That'll bring up second down. From the 44-yard line. Denver lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back. Passes it. Pass completed. He's tackled at the 34. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Williams gets the call. 
He's hammered in the backfield. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. He drops back. The pass is away. Batted away. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Carolina finds up in the offset eye this time. He's looking to throw. Brings this one in. The third down pass got them good yardage, but not quite enough to convert. Yeah, that was a tough third down situation. They got the good completion, a good gain on the play, but probably asking too much out of the receiver to try and break that many tackles to pick up that first down. The set down, the kick is up, it's got the distance. I had my doubts about that kick. Yeah, he just squeezed that one in there, didn't he? I'm sure he's going to be exhaling for about the next 30 seconds. And here's the kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. Brought down at the 26-yard line. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. Two tight ends here. Fakes to the back. And he makes the tall grab. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. On the run, he throws it. Can't connect on that one. The tight end couldn't make the grab. And sometimes you get used to throwing to those speedy wide receivers and the tight ends are just a stride slower and you saw it there. He drops back to pass. Makes the reception. What a hit! And that one will go for first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. Fakes the run. Batted away. Sapp was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. Cutler is in the shotgun. Three wide formation. Graham goes in motion to the left. Back to throw. He throws it. He makes another catch. He's dropped in the open field. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. Cutler on first down. Not much time to throw. Gamble picks it off. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Williams is the single setback. DeLome calls for motion right. Little handoff. He's dropped around the 30-yard line. Williams picks up about seven yards on the run. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one is the Broncos 23, the Panthers 9. Four wide receiver set. We're talking about regular, regular. 180. Let's go. Come on, 
He drops back. He throws on the run. How can you drop that? Good job by the defender to knock the ball out of there. And that was a good shot as a receiver. You've got to know you're going to take some hits. You just have to hold on to that ball. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. Back to pass. Rifles it across the middle. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. Oh boy, that's a nice play on third down. Clutch play by the receiver that time on third down. As a receiver, you really have to just flat out want the ball in that situation. You can tell that this guy really does. Let's go get it. Drops back on first down. Huge pressure by the defense. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. Nice pass for the quarterback on that one with the defense bearing down on him. Good play design there. Very solid protection. Gave the quarterback time to examine the whole field until he finally found the open man. He drops back. Rolls right. There for the reception. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Short gain on that completion. That three wide receiver set. Regular, regular. Back, back. Team, 180. Team. Let's go. 180. Let's go. Alert, marker. He drops back to pass. Rifles this one out to the middle. He really just rifled that last pass. And it just goes to show that arm strength isn't everything. Accuracy and touch is something that is so important for a quarterback. He's looking to throw. He rolls out to the right. It's picked off. He's dropped at about the 35-yard line. That's his fifth pick of the game. Unbelievable. Tom, I have to tell you, I was the worst quarterback in the history of the planet. I played through high school in my freshman year of college, and not even I could throw five interceptions in one game. I tried, but I never did do that. It's the tailback. Dropped behind the line. It looked as if the offensive line just collapsed. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. They hand it off again. And they get him at about the 33-yard line. Five yards. That'll bring up third down. It's third down now and eight to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Carolina brings in their quarter package, only three linemen on the field. Sets up the play action. Throws on the run. Falls incomplete. Risky throw right there. Boy, the quarterback has to be a better decision maker than that. There's no way he was going to get that one in. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He gets it away. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 10-yard line. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. It's the tailback. He left the defender grabbing air. Three yards there. That brings up second down. They line up at the 13. One man in the backfield. He drops back to pass. Makes the throw out to his left. And he's knocked out at the 22. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. Back to throw. Rolling right. Looks like he had it, but it's knocked loose. Hackett's was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Single back formation. Regular, regular. 
Delome looking to pass. Scans the field. Dropped an easy one. And not a good throw that time. He forced it right into coverage. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Back to throw. Short pass to his left. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. It looked like he tried to drag his feet as he was going out, but he couldn't get him down. You know, and sometimes that happens. The quarterback put it in a spot where only he could catch it. The problem was the ball was just a little off target. Punts it. Makes the fair catch. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. One man in the backfield. Draw play. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's in for the score. How about that? He did most of that one all on his own. Those are the kind of special plays that makes this league what it is. He puts together a couple more like that. He'll be going to the Pro Bowl this year. Lining up for the point after. Kick is up. It's good. And here's the kick. Robinson fields it at the three. Drill at the 26-yard line. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. The Panthers go with the I formation. Carolina uses motion. He drops back to pass. Short pass. The defender got to him just as he threw the ball. And even though that one doesn't go down as a sack, that's one of those that the quarterback remembers and probably rushes him just a little bit on the next throw. The loan will look to throw. Not much time to throw. And the defender intercepts it. To the 10. He's in. Touchdown. Ah! On the interception. What a huge turn of events on that one. Not only was that a tremendous interception, but when he got the ball in his hand, he looked like he knew what to do with it. What a run. It's good. In the fourth, with more than 11 minutes remaining, the score, the Broncos 37, the Panthers 9. He kicks it off, taken from the three-yard line. Hit and dropped at the 32-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Regular, regular. Left call, left call. Why did he go, D? Check, check, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Drops back. He steps up. Not much room to throw into, and it's intercepted. He's brought down around the 28-yard line, and the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. They line up at the 28. Come on, G. Cutler steps to the line of scrimmage. They'll come out in an eye. 48. 48. 48. Raider, Raider, Raider. Here we go, Let's go, let's go right. right. He's looking to throw. Throws it short. Brings it in. 
He's tackled up to 21. Nice pass and catch on that play. That gets him a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. Brought down around the 21-yard line. No gain, and so it'll be third down. The backfield is in the offset I formation. There's a play fake. It's there for the catch. And they get him at the 15. Great job to haul in that first down pass. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. Young on the inside handoff. He's dropped around the 13-yard line. Young picks up two yards with the carry. Offensive line this one up at the 12. They line up in an eye. They go with the run. Tackled at the 12. Not a lot on that play. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes and... That time, there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. Sap, the man in motion. Back to throw. He throws right. He's tackled at the 11. And that screenplay goes nowhere. They're already up big. This could make the lead bigger. Right down the middle. Not much doubt as he puts that one right through the uprights. And here's your drive summary for that last series. And here's the kick. Field it at the four. Dropped at the 32-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Denver lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back. He throws a bullet out to his left. Williams gets the interception. He's brought down around the 30-yard line. And that makes number three, Chris. And it's no fluke. This guy is one of the great cover guys in the league, and he's making it look easy today. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Gain of two. And a linebacker blitzed on that one, and you could see that the quarterback just didn't see it in time to audible out of that play, and let's give credit to the defense. They won that battle. Blue 45. Numbers, numbers. We got to play. Cutler will look to pass. Pass is complete. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. And they'll run them again. Tackled at the 14. The back gets three on the carry. They line up at the 14. Cutler steps to the line of scrimmage. Three wide formation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get off this field now. Zebra, zebra. Cutler takes it back. Rifles it left. He's finally dragged down, and now it will be first and goal. And now we'll see who can get the bigger push. Blue 45! Blue 45! Let's go left! Left! 
He'll try the end zone. No completion. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Cutler back to pass. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. The quarterback put that one too far out in front of his receiver, and he couldn't stay inbound. He tried to make a safe throw there, but the receiver was open. It didn't have to be quite that cautious and just let him out of bounds. Again with the carry. And they get him at the four. The misdirection play gets a yard at the most. This one should be makeable. This will just add insult to injury. And it's good. He makes that one pretty easily and puts it through for three points. He kicks it. He'll return it from the three. Big hit there to bring him down. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. DeLome is in the shotgun. He has four receivers split out wide. 188! Gives to the back. He's going to be tackled for a loss. There was no way that defensive end was letting him go by. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. DeLome looking to throw. Goes through his read. There for the catch. He's dropped at the 39-yard line. And you won't see the coaching staff complaining about that one. Yeah, coaching staffs generally don't complain about too much when they have a quarterback that has the leadership qualities and the arm strength and the ability that this guy has. Knocked away. It's a tough situation. What would you do here, Chris? Well, it just depends on how much you trust your defense to get the football back. This other team has a lot of offensive weapons. Tough decision here. He punts it. Royal takes it at the 21. Brought down around the 32-yard line. They had to settle for a field goal on their last drive. They take the field again, looking to put up another score. Nickel package on defense. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue 45. Scatter, scatter, scatter. No, 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 go, go. I knew, I knew. They'll throw on first down. Makes the pass to the middle of the field. What a brutal hit. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Drops back. Defense is getting pressure. And the pass is knocked away. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. One man backfield. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Gets the punt away. He fields the punt at the 20. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much there. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. Hands it off. 
He makes a move, and he's brought down. They got little there. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Carolina comes to the line with three wide. Drops back, throws it out, and he caught it. And they get him at about the 37-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football. But you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Three-yard gain by the running back. From the gun. Regular, regular. Check, check, 68. 188. Close left, over right, over right. Regular, regular, regular. DeLome takes it back. Throws it out. And the pass falls oh, incomplete. incomplete. Looked like he put a little too much on that one. Boy, that one was shot in there, too. I'm not sure anybody could have caught that one anyway. That thing just <laughs> never came down. Left, left, left. Let's go quick, games. He's looking to throw. Short throw. It's incomplete. He couldn't get two feet in on that one. Well, that's something receivers work on all the time, dragging that back toe, just unable to do it that time. Baker to punt. Gets his leg into it, and he got a huge punt here. He fields it at the 17. Tackled at about the 21. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. Cutler is under center. Two backs in the eye. Sets up the play action. Comes down with it. Brought down around the 34-yard line. That pass put him over 300 yards for the game. And what's really impressed me has been his accuracy. He's been squeezing the ball into some tight situations all game. His accuracy has just been tremendous. Throws it short, and it's caught. And they get him at the 44-yard line. Nice pass plus. It really was in the 80s that we first started seeing offenses throwing the ball to the fullback. You know, for so many years, those guys were just big blockers. Hey, let's go! Blue 45! Roger, Roger, Blue 45! Buffalo, Buffalo! Hut, hut! It's coming out quick! Numbers, watch the spell! Hut! Passes it out. Drops the easy pick. I thought for sure they'd try to run out the clock. Well, Tom, you and I have watched enough football over the years that if you try to get inside the heads of these head coaches, it's a frightening place sometimes. They'll give it off here. And he will lose yardage on the play. And they were not able to get much there. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. Well, when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. Here's the halfback. Tackled right around the 46-yard line. The defense was able to stop him short of the first. Well, I'm sure the defense was caught a little off guard by that run call there, but 
if you're going to call run there, you better pick up a first down or you're going to be reading about it in the newspaper the next day. Punts it. And they make the fair catch. They were forced to punt on their last drive from their own 12-yard line. The Panthers come out showing three wide. He drops back. Strong throw to his left. He's tackled right around the 40-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. With show being the operative word there, it has been a show watching this guy from the beginning of his career. He's looking to throw. He throws left. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard, building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. He drops back to pass. Rifles this one out to the right. Great open field tackle. And that'll do it for us. Our final in this one is the Broncos 43, the Panthers 9.